out of this on Capitol Hill because there are three hearings on Obamacare that are underway in our nation's capital today. The security issues associated with the website are truly what is front and center today in this discussion. Just a few minutes ago, we heard that serious security flaws continue to put user data for millions of Americans at risk. Healthcare.gov is not secure today. And nothing's really changed since the November 19th testimony. In fact, from our November 19th testimony, it's even worse. Wow, that's a harsh reality. Brett Baird joins us now, anchor of Special Report. Brett, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, Martha. Kind of shocking that you would think, you know, over the last few months, there would be some strides made in, in this, which is a clear vulnerability for the program. Yeah, Martha, it's pretty amazing. David Kennedy is one of the people testifying there, head of a cybersecurity firm, independent firm. He and other, seven other cybersecurity experts have been looking since the launch of October 1st at the, at the website, and they say at least 20 vulnerabilities that, that they identified October 1st with healthcare.gov are still present today. And they say it's fundamentally flawed, that it's dangerous, and that one of the most uh, malicious uh, things that can happen is that hackers can put malicious code onto the site and then attack some of the users, essentially controlling their computers through the website. Now, CMS, that runs the whole deal, says that there hasn't been successful security attacks on healthcare.gov and no person or group has maliciously accessed personal identifiable information from the site. But these guys are saying, listen, it can happen and it is very dangerous. Yeah, you know, you think back to Kathleen Sebelius saying, in the face of others uh, who argued, you know what, you need to take the whole thing down. It's broken and you need to, to end it and start from the ground up and rebuild it and you'll have a better system in the end. If you do that, she said, no, 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 that's not what we need to do. She said experts told her that it could be fixed. And, and that's one of the central questions here. It is, and all three of these hearings are going to get to that fundamental uh, question and whether there should be this major shutdown to redo the thing. Understand that we have now transferred, as the government, the administration has transferred the, uh, the job from CGI Federal, the, the company that essentially created and launched the website, uh, to Accenture, another $90 million contract. Uh, these experts up on the Hill are detailing how this website, they say, is very dangerous for people to put their information on. And while they are not initiating these attacks themselves because it's illegal, um, they say it can happen. Yeah, it goes back to the issue of whether or not it was rushed into action to make that deadline and whether or not uh, they've actually lost time in the end by not taking a little bit more time at, at the beginning. Uh, Brett, thank you so much. We will see you tonight. See you, Martha.